We are finally organized and looking good. I got Magma a sort of slumber. Lava, of course, has his Zenith and Sword and Shield. And Ellie, well, her mother's going to have a talking with me later. And poor Sancho, well, he's still in his boxer shorts. But I'll fix that sometime later. But in the meantime, me and my kids are going to go on a quest to save the world. So, Doris, how's it have you been? Yeah, Doris has been being Doris. And also Depository is depository. Finally transferred most of my items. To a crew I can't believe in. And while I'm at it, double check my armor here real quick. Because a trace of radiance would be awesome. So with some silver mail for my son. But I prefer him to have dragon mail. So many upgrades I need to do. So little gold pieces. Because somebody hasn't been collecting taxes. No king, no taxes. Hooray. So, let me check on this other citizens real quick. And some of them have been pondering for years. Eight years. Yes, I'm going to start doing that now. Also, Sancho can equip a turtle shell. Is he Roshi? He could be. But other than that and miscellaneous items, I think I'm about set for a quest. A dragon quest. But always remember to save. So it's time to go questing with my blonde haired children. Coincidentally, if I would have married one of the other women, uh, Flora, oh, I'm pretty sure has, she has a different name, or in the DS version, uh, what's her name, show it on the bottom of the screen, because I don't feel like looking it up right now. Thank you, text. They'd get their color of hair. And I don't think there's any statistical differences. Although I could be wrong. The women in my family have been captured. So I have to keep an extra eye on Ellie. And there's Pippin. I remember he wanted to be a soldier. And he became a soldier. You know... I could recruit you. Could I recruit him? So maybe I'll recruit him in the future. But for right now, it's a big world to explore. There we are. We looking good. Now if I could only have a fourth member in my party. That'd be nice. But still, eight of us is pretty good. So to the north we go. To find out that clue.
my mother's homeland. Oops. And also to level up my kids. That would be a good idea. Now, oh, who had the map? Which one of you troublemakers back there had the map? So we need to go to the center-ish of that continent, continent to the north. So let me take a quick route through here and deal with some golems. So how tough are my kids? They're pretty tough. Okay, Ellie isn't exactly the physical attacker. And I already let my son die. Wow, great father. These golems are a little tougher than I thought they'd be. So maybe I should hide them in the wagon till uh, they get a little stronger. And just for tactics sake, offensive. Wow, these golems have a lot of hit points. Which makes me a little nervous. Good thing I gave the dragon a flame claw. That probably helped out a lot. With a huge hit point increase and burning breath. I'll have to lift up my kids in safer lands. Because apparently this land is quite dangerous with the dentosaurs. Yeah, those golems, they had 190 hit points. Thankfully, my kids can gain levels inside their wagon, watching their dad fight. But not all people level up the same. In the meantime, putting my kids to work. Hey, golem gets up and wants to join me. Do I accept it? Sure, why not? But the wagon was full. Oh no. So, who do I want to send to the storage room? I can't send the uh, golem to the storage room by itself. Alrighty, Slowin. You get to the holding center. And the golem joined the party. So here's Golmath. Pretty strong dude. Pretty durable. No skills as of yet. But he could be a defensive giant if you know what I mean. Also, there's a town down there. There is a town down there, which I'd like to get to. And I'm looking at my map very intensely to find a way down. Oh dear, it's a phoenix. Is that how you spell a phoenix? Regardless, it shall meet tornado. As I expected, it casts Flaming Breath. And is a rather fierce opponent. 
Merlin, why do you cast fire on a firebird? Shame on you. Speaking of shame, Matt is dead. So I guess it's time for Sancho to get out there and fight. For whatever reason, I don't know. Also, thank goodness my mar armor is magical and doesn't take flames that that much. Hey, I've gained a level after eight years and learned the spell of farewell. A spell you don't want to use very often unless it's an emergency. Also. Good son. Good son got back to life. Now, let's play with a number, random number generator and ask Mad, do you want to get it back to life? I might have to hold off on that a little bit. As now I have to fight Lizard Man and Phoenix. And for the use of all my magic points, I can do something extremely powerful. But not today. Also, quit hitting the things that are asleep. What kind of tactics have I taught you guys? Also, Lizardmen seem to be quite tough. Also, you can apparently use holy water as an item to attack. Sancho, I didn't give you permission to do that. But it's nice to know nonetheless. Because Sancho's physical attack right now is pitiful. I mean, it also doesn't help. That the lizard man has upper on him. He's taking those uppers. If you know what I mean. Gotta level up them kids. I'm still looking. But I don't see a way to that town. Oh, speaking of what I wanted to see, Shadow Satan. I don't think I wanted to see this. I can cast a nasty snow blast. Predicting around 130 ish hit points, Shadow Satan can also cast the nasty spell of beat. Insta-kill. Doesn't always work. But this is Satan after all. Great to level up, but it's going to require a lot of recovery afterwards. 
Also, my son learned to increase. My kids are so smart. I love them. Elisa hasn't earned any spells recently. Young lady, are you lacking behind? And that's a suspicious water tunnel. Could it have to do with the shrine that I see slightly to the east? Maybe. Do I have to sail in it? That's a high possibility. Because I'm not getting anything done over here. But to the far, far north is what we call the farthest shrine. I'm sure it has a real name, but Farthest Shrine really is far, the, far away. This is getting rather tough and rather dangerous. So I'm going to return here real fast and recover. Shame I didn't get anything done in this video. But I could also go to the Northern Church. Remind me where that is again. Oh yeah, this horrible place. Where I lost your mother, kids. This is a horrible church. But, if you didn't notice, uh, there's a problem. Besides ball arms. Also, meta slimes would be awesome. Also, apparently there is a underwater castle and a blocked off cave. That could be very interesting. But for right now, I guess the only thing I can do is sail into the water shrine. As far as new places to go, or well, places that, well, I could go to the Metal King. That would be pretty, pretty awesome. So let's see if I can do it. Or if the shoals block my way. Also, I could check out that farther shrine I didn't make to previously. Oh no, we got sea creatures. We know about the Octo Leech. But what about Merazoncien and Little Eel? They look cute, but they're dangerous. They're puffer fish. They want to eat your soul. Not many hit points, but not unless. Sancho gained a level. He seems to be more of a meat shield. Or a jester. One of the two. Also, Ellie learned Bang. Bang is a Fairly weak spell, but it hits every single monster on the screen. And not just a group. So it's definitely not useless. But I hope the kids are enjoying their field trip. It's a good thing they don't have to go to school. Convenia's school system aside, there's a killer shell. I wonder if it's trying to kill me. Or if it's just pathetically weak by now. Who knows, there might be a pearl inside it. So 
so allow me to visit the farthest shrine. If I can visit it. Or unless there's rocks blocking my way that I can't see on my map. Hey, speaking of stuff I haven't seen, here's Nurses. He can cast Tornado. Too bad I'm not amused by his Tornado. And now I have killed the old man by the sea. Old Man River is now dead. Hey, it's the farthest shrine. Is there anybody important? Why is a scholar? I did not hear. Crown of the Sun. Even Meganites? I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'm going to steal your stuff. And by all your stuff, I mean all your stuff. Unless there's a guard kitty to mess me up. Also notice, whenever we go into town or civilized place, it automatically switches to my three strongest humans. Or at least I think it does. Hey, treasure chest. A stone of life. It's been a while since I've played, but I believe the stone of life does that recovery while you're walking. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. When haven't I been wrong? But for a shrine, this place seems pretty useless. Except for the small metal. So maybe I'll find a use for the sh farthest shrine in the future. But now to circle around. And maybe get to that water shrine. That's impressive. I think he learned it faster than I did. He must be the true hero. I mean, besides the fact that he can equip the Zenith in equipment. Hey, speaking of which, wasn't there another item I know about? Like a helmet? Oh yes, I should go back to get that. Soon. So, what's for dinner tonight? Squid as always. You kids should eat your squid and enjoy it. No complaints. So, now we have entered a water dungeon. Or it sounds like a dungeon. It might be something else. So allow me to bring up a map. And we also switch to another video. Maybe we'll blend some of these videos together. Maybe I'm just crazy. The answer is yes to all three.